Naomi Gurma, Defensive MVP, Rookie of the Year, NWSL Best 11, San Diego Wave, star center back defender, badass. Here she is. Thank you. <laughs> Here we have Sam Grace, Grace. Coffee. <laughs> Portland Thorns midfielder, best 11, <laughs> NWSL champion. And now it's time for the rookie recap. My college number, I was blessed enough that it was available, so it was an easy decision. Love number 17. My mom was born on November 17th. Hmm. Sappy, I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, just as my favorite number, it was available. Ooh, done. Similar, uh, number four was available. We're a new team, so there were a lot of options. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm born on June 14th, so I've always liked the number four. Nice. Oh, Rinchy. I have it. I have one. Oh my gosh. I have one. I don't okay. Know if I have one. Just <laughs> coming into a team where you got just legends. It's yeah. like, don't mess up. Don't do anything stupid. After our first preseason game in Bend, Oregon, we all, you know, got coffee after the game. We were getting ready to get on the bus to go back to, to Portland. I get my coffee, like a venti, because that's just how I am. Yeah. I spill it everywhere. And it's, <laughs> it goes all over the floor. It starts, like, during people's shoes and their bags. It literally, like, trickles all the way up to the coaches. And everyone's like, who spilled? And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, Sam spilled our coffee, and I was like, I'm so like, sorry. Rookie. Yeah, literally, they, you know, they were poking fun, but internally, I was dying. Yeah, so, yeah that's, that's mine. That's mine. Oh, I wish I had one. You don't have any crazy ones. <laughs> you don't. You don't have any I mean, ones. Hey, come on. Oh, I'm sure I did something cringy that I like erased from my memory, but like, I don't know. Well, it was just a smooth sailing year for you, huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you can just use mine then, I guess. <laughs> Mine's easy. Uh, Alex Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous? <laughs> At first, yeah, I'd say like Sinky. Probably Sinky. Uh, Becky a little bit, just her being like my center back. I'm like, just don't mess up. Don't, yeah, yeah. don't put her in a bad situation. Yeah. I still sometimes feel that way if I like miss pass. I'm like, I'm just so sorry. <laughs> so yeah, probably those two. Yeah. You can't relate to this, but no more school. No class. I will say a lot more freedom mm. as far as like scheduling, like recovery or whatever you need. It's definitely more like on you to make sure you get stuff done. Yeah. Com like coming out of school where like a lot of stuff is kind of structured. Um, LA, uh, Bank of California Stadium. I couldn't hear anyone the whole time and I lost my voice in the game. I'll say thorns in the Providence Park in the semifinal was pretty. Our our, our it, fans heckle. Yeah, they heckle. it was Love it you. was bumping. Yeah. <laughs> mm, it's a tough one. So many to choose Winning. from. Yeah. <laughs> Winning the league, obviously. Celebrating with the team at Audi Field is definitely my favorite moment. I'd say mine was winning the quarterfinal in San Diego. It was our like first ever playoff game. I'm pretty sure we set like an NWSL record mm. and it was like, it went into extra time. We won in like the second period of extra time yeah. and it was just like, it was a cool moment in San Diego. Everyone was in the playoffs, everyone was excited and... We watched it. Yeah, it was it a cool, fun. yeah, it, <laughs> we it was a really it. cool game, yeah. yeah. This is a little uh, specific, but like, I would just say meals on the road. Like just sitting with your teammates, sharing a meal laughing we'd spend hours in there it's a great time to just bond off the field it's just like honestly any team any team event was always fun and yeah. I feel like there's so much to do in San Diego so it's like easy um, we did a bonfire like right before playoffs um, and we had another time we did like a boat thing with all of us um, that looked fun yeah that was fun, <laughs> yeah. That was fun. keep it up with us <laughs> I feel like the like the most consistent ones that I enjoy though are like we all like a lot of us live in an apartment complex and we'll just be like, oh, hanging by the pool if anyone wants to come by and people will just like come down with a book. I'll have my laptop, unfortunately, if I'm doing homework. Um, but it's just like people are always willing to come like spend time together, just like chill. Um, and I feel like those are the moments that I appreciate. 
That's great. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot <laughs> no. answer that. They're both precious. They're angels. Be- angel babies. We love their moms. We love their moms. We and love them. And they're perfect. They're perfect. They have no flaws. Yeah. yeah. yeah they agree. can do no wrong. Yeah. In our, in they're our angels. Eyes. So yeah. we, are, we are pleading the fifth on that one. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> surreal to play in front of so many people. That's obviously something I never really experienced in college. Like, usually the biggest crowds you get are maybe a couple thousand yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> on like a good day a um i mean the environment in portland and just like throughout the leagues the league is just electric um i think it's crazy to think like that they're cheering for you I too know. i'm like whoa <laughs> like, i must have done something good yeah um but yeah it's it's surreal and it's um it's so fun to to play in front of and i'm just excited to keep doing it yeah i would echo that and say like i think it's pretty incredible like as rookies how quick like the fans embraced us Mm. and like made you feel like you were at home on this team and I think the fans are a big part of that um and like when they're supporting you and they're cheering for you uh so I think that was really cool yeah like the club level it was such an incredible year uh but then to add in making your debut for the full team like it's just cherry on top like I mean it's I can't really put it into words it was just such an honor so exciting nerve-wracking um and yeah to do it alongside these women was just such an incredible experience and a day I'll never forget it was I mean it yeah. was the best day of my life let's be real I mean come on it's <laughs> first step. yeah um so <laughs> it was just just my highlight of the year just like again the greatest day night of my life like I couldn't put it into words it's just such an honor yeah I mean for I first cap is just so special and um, I think having the teammates the team supporting us um, starting our professional careers this year mm-hmm. too I just think it was a lot mm-hmm. put into one year and I feel like we just had so much support through yeah. it um, that made us feel more comfortable and confident going into it so yeah as Sam said Best night of my life. Period. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, period. Done. And that was the Rookie Recap.